As my kids have gotten older, I've gradually begun to cocoon off in many ways. I thought it was just me, but then I started hearing the same from other moms who felt like their worlds had gotten much smaller as their kids became teens. Pickup lines, soccer fields, and playgrounds were where we met our friends, the friends who we could talk to and commiserate with and brag to while simultaneously filling our need for something of a social life. The playdates we once had for the kids were often just excuses for moms to have coffee or wine with friends. But many moms of teens now feel alone in this. Moms who see the village that helped them in those early years, the prep for transitioning to motherhood, the friendships that came from motherhood, the older moms who would offer advice and support. But now their only words of wisdom are, enjoy it, it's over so fast, which let's be honest, are literally the last words our panicking selves need to hear. We see it all disappear as our kids hit middle school and definitely as they hit high school. Communication changes. Kids don't need us like they used to anymore. Our identities that were so tied to our children and motherhood are becoming ours again. But who are we? Who am I? After 14, 16, 18 years, I don't even know her anymore. And the issues that we face with our teens they aren't the ones that many of us feel comfortable talking about with others. Their issues are complex now. Mental health, drinking, dating, sex, drugs, vaping, coming out, friendships falling apart, broken hearts, making or not making sports teams, SAT scores, college acceptances, and rejections. Many of us feel alone, even with our friends, because some things feel too intimate or like a betrayal to our teen's confidences. The social circles to share become very small and very fragile. We all need someone to talk to, but as the issues get more complex and sensitive, our options get more limited. And at the same time that we're navigating these issues, we see the finish line ahead, the point where we're supposed to let them go. We want them to soar, but how do we let go when we've been holding on to them so tightly for so many years? when our identities have been so intertwined with theirs. And don't even get us started on dealing with puberty and menopause. So many people talk about the transition to motherhood, but no one talks to you about just how hard the transition out is and how solitary. So that's just what we're gonna do. In this community of friends, we'll have that conversation over a cup of coffee or a glass of wine, just like the old playdate days. Ask us your questions, this community, your friends. We all need someone to connect with. I may not be able to fix your problems, but I can help you to understand what is behind these issues. This podcast is grounded in family communication theory. I want to share what I have learned as a communication scholar for over 20 years and what I'm learning as the mom of three teens. It's time to be seen beyond the frame of our children, beyond the frame of motherhood, it's time to ask, what do I want? Who do I want to be? It's time to reframe me.